Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, into this particular video, I'll be taking you through uh, one of the coding programs, right, for your topic, which is your classes and objects in Python programming. Now, how will we proceed and how will we approach? Try to listen to me very much carefully. See, here's the one of the questions which is written up over the screen in front of you. So, I'll be first of all explaining you about this question, right? Then I'll be explaining you that how many steps or the things uh, does it requires to be done, right? Next, I'll be talking in with you. Uh, about how you will be writing up the program for this right and i'll be doing up the hands-on also in front of you so that you can like get to understand how this program has to be approached out right that is what um, is going to be the complete idea of this particular video right so let's get started up here very quickly so first of all um i'll be discussing in video that you just have to write up a program right where firstly you just have to create in up two empty classes empty classes creating is quite a simpler task right so you can just create in two empty classes um the names are your student and the marks okay these two empty classes have to be created in after creating up of these empty classes uh next will be that you'll be trying to create in some instance Right, and you try to check whether the instance of the said classes or not. It means that you try to create in some instance for your uh, uh, like classes which are here, and you will be trying to check in whether those instances which you have made in like your instances are those belonging to your student and marks class or not. Are they of your student? and marks class that is what you will be uh, checking in next right further you will also check in whether the state classes or the subclasses of the built-in object class or not it means that whatever the classes are or whatever the subclasses are there right so your student and marks class are those the subclasses of the built-in objects or not this is what is your complete program about this is what you have to do up into this program of yours right so now into that particular case uh, this program is being divided up into three parts the first part you will be creating up your empty classes second part you will be trying to create the instance and check those out third program third part will ask will be about the checking of your classes right that and what will be the three parts of your uh, complete program right so i hope up till now you are clear what is the question about right what are different parts which we are having up here so what we will do now we'll try to just do up uh, the hands-on for this particular question okay let's get started so one second yeah so what i'm going to do is that i'll first of all make up a class name for that will be my student class okay and here i'll be writing class next class i'll be making up my marks class m-a-r-k-s marks class okay and again i'll be writing up here as pass fine now proceeding in further now i'll be making in the objects for both of these classes okay so it's gonna be like student uh, S will be small, not capital. It will be student and will score A is equal to it will be the object for my student class. Fine. And marks and will score A. This will be the object for my marks class. Fine. That's what it is actually, right? It, it's all done. Now, next what I'll be doing is that I will be trying to check the instance first of all. Okay. My first part of the program was this much that we did do, right? Now I'll be checking up that or whether these classes are the instances or not, right? So I'll use a function is instance. 
Okay, I'll use in this function, putting the brackets over here. And um, I write in, first of all, the object and then the class name. So, object is student underscore a. Right? And the class name is this student. Right? That is what is it, right? A brackets are not required. Okay, perfect. The same thing I will be doing in for my marks also, right? Now I'll be checking the marks underscore a object from the student class. Remember and listen to me very carefully. Whenever you need to check in the instance of any of the classes or any particular thing like that, so you have to take in care of uh, whether this particular uh, object uh, object uh, of your student class is the instance of it, right? You have to check in the other object of your other class. Is it the again uh, the object of your student class? Then you'll go for marks. Marks underscore a. Is it an instance of the marks class? And then student underscore a. Is it an instance of the marks class? All of these conditions you will check in. Again, I use is instance bracket. This time student, uh, okay, let, let's take it to marks underscore A, right? And I'm going to check it for my student class. Fine. Perfect. Now third will be my checking for my uh, max class. So print is instance. Bracket. Now whether is this marks underscore one, sorry, underscore A, instance of my marks class right and next print the statement that i'll be doing up is that print is instance bracket and whether this student underscore a it is an instance of my marks class fine so here we are checking up the instances of the class i can write up a print statement also print uh, like this and it will be checking the instances of the class okay of the class fine um yeah so i'll run this one see you and let's check in what's the output so checking the instances of the class uh is instance is student underscore a like is student underscore a instance of a student class so yes that's true is marks underscore a instant of a student class? No, that's false. Right? Again, you have that is instance like marks underscore a. Is it an instance of the marks class? Yes. And student underscore a. Is it an instance of marks class? No. So, false. Right? That's all done. Now, I am going to write in my third part of the program that is about checking the subclasses right so checking the i can simply write subclasses okay done so now i'll be using up the other method and before that i'll write a print mode one more print statement like this uh, let it be in this manner fine so here we'll go in my print statement function will be is subclass this function bracket so I will write up my student class and I'll do in my object because my question was you have to check in whether the set classes, the student and marks classes, are these the subclasses of the object class or not, right? And that's the reason I need to write up this object classes over here. And the same thing I'm going to do up for my marks class also. So here goes my marks comma again i'm going to check is it object for the same right and let's run this out over here so checking the subclasses true and true so yes student and my marks both of these classes of me are the object built-in object classes right these are the subclasses of the built-in object class right so that's how uh you can write up this complete program. You can design it up in this manner. See, while reading a program, it uh, wasn't that much. Uh, like we, we didn't think this program is going to be that much easy. But 
when you would started writing this out it was super easy right nothing has to be done only two built in functions is instance and is subclass ha had to be used out and yeah that's all done so whenever you are like writing up any particular program or solving up any questions in different different platforms or hackathons so always try to break up the question in the different different parts and try to write them accordingly i break down this particular question in three parts right and for the three parts i started writing the program for the first part then for my second part and then for my third part so that's how you also have to approach out any particular problem and it will seem very much easier to you to solve that out right so i hope i am pretty much clear with this uh, thing to all of you about uh, writing up this program and soon i'm going to launch up a bsc series so stay tuned on to the channel if you have enjoyed this video do share this video with your friends do like this video and even don't forget to subscribe out my channel We'll see you all in the next video till then thank you and take care